Here in this Tobacco University video, if you're looking at growing a cannabis field and managing your weeds by mowing, this video will provide you with some specifics and some ideas to consider uh, so you maintain a, hopefully a weed-free field and increase your production. All right, let's get into mowing to manage weeds in a cannabis field. Well, first off, uh, you want to plant uh, before mowing. Uh, so while some growers will simply mow the weeds to make this method more effective, uh, plant a cover crop in rows at the time of planting the main crop. So we can see here, uh, while this isn't cannabis, this is a squash and pumpkin field, here we see uh, a lot of grass being planted. Uh, and this can be a grass and clover mix, is very common, as it's easy to establish in the soil, and it also limits the potential for erosion. This also provides a great cover crop to be easily mowed before the vines in this case start to crawl over the area. So we just want to just mow the weeds. In this case we're intentionally planting cover crop in between our rows and then mowing that cover crop. Uh, and that requires established rows. So here we're seeing uh, grapevines, we're seeing buckwheat planted. Having established rows can help be helpful in defining the areas. This can be used uh, from year to year, particularly with these uh, more perennial uh, crops here. And buckwheat great here at maintaining the soil, grows really quickly, attracts pollinators, a lot of benefits, and because it's planted in this consistent row, this can allow mowing to be a very effective method of control uh, and also of managing this particular area. So when it comes to establishing those rows, we want to be mindful of the row spacing that we're using. The rows should be spaced to allow the mowing equipment you'll be using an easy pass or two. Maybe it's just going to be one pass down the row, maybe one pass down, turn around and come back the other way. This needs to be established early in the season, so be thinking long term to save you time in season. You want to do something that's like a pass and a half or three passes. You want to try to match it to whatever equipment that you're using to make it easy for you to go through and manage that particular area. Lastly, when we're relating this to cannabis uh, production, selecting a low growing cover crop or even a turf grass species can be preferable. This will allow easier mowing and help limit soil erosion, both good things to be considering. Adding a clover species, as we see here, can also help encourage nitrogen fixation in between the rows. And while this will not benefit your in-row crop, it can help the general soil biology. And if you do rotate in the field at a later date, it will help future plantings as well. And with anything, we always want to be thinking long term uh, to treat our soil well, because we treat the soil well, it will have our plants be very productive and allow us long-term production, which will be good for the environment as well as our total yield. 